ているそんなところに突っ立ってないでここへ座るがいいやはり態度がでかいこよいは月が美しいそうは思わぬか月世は月を眺めるのが好きだ太陽のように無遠慮に照らしつけないのがいい月の光はそっと闇を映し我らを優しく包み込んでくれる御美大火山も太陽より月をこよなく愛したそうだ月かそうだな確かに今夜の月は綺麗だこんな月ならこれだけで魚になるな酒やはりそなたも酒をたしなむのかたしなむのかって大人であれば普通は飲むだろう世は飲んだことがないの酒とはどんな味がするのだ甘いのか辛いのかそんなにうまいものなのか祝いの席でも何でも世が酒を飲もうとすると正常このように皆が邪魔をするのだもう子供ではないというに正常ああ分かった分かったまったく年寄りは説教臭くていかんなんかだいぶ印象が違うというか見かけによらず随分と子供じみたことを言う男だなでどうなのだん何がだとぼけるでない酒とはどのような味がするのかとどのような味と言われてもなおそらくあの本質を言葉にできるものなど癒やしないぞそそうなのかああそうだなもしかしたらそれは人に課せられた永遠の謎かけなのかもしれないな酒がある限り人が酒を飲み続ける限りそそうか確かに皆をあれだけ虜にするのだきっと想像もつかぬ夢のような味なのだろうな当たっているような間違っているようなハコロいつか読もうそなたのように酒をたしなむようになる日も来ようその時にはいや何でもない I will gladly drink with you boy <笑>本当に不思議な男よなそなたは。正常お時間にございますもうそんな時間か時間が経つのは早いものだな充実したひとときであった次もまた来るまた会ってもらえるかああまた今度ねうん約束だ Yeah this time it actually is good good さて今日はどうするどうぞああすまないどうしたんですか難しい顔していやさっきの戦のことを思い出していたああも無防備でなかったらそう簡単に責められることはなかっただろうとなしけりペチムをニューかあの男があれで諦めたとは思えん今のままではいつ再び攻め込まれてもおかしくはないだろうなえでもそのために国境の城を建てたりとかしましたよねあれだけでは抑止力として不十分だ攻めにくいとは感じるだろうが攻め込むことをためらわせる決定的なことにかける、はあ、やはり彼女の力を借りるしかないかはい
お呼びですかパクオロ様ああ,あなたにぜひ頼みたいことがあるはいなんなりとここ最近近隣諸国が何かしらの形で手を結んでいることは知っていると思うこちらもぜひその中に加わりたい頼まれてくれるかはい早急に取り計らいいたしますここへ来て早々に進まないいいえそれがよもるたる私の務めそれに私自身往路の力になりたいのですありがとう感謝しているはいお茶ですおお Stop your jealousy. Nanda? Eruru. Zate. Kyoa do s u r k a Important things. m a t a s e i t a s h i m a s t a Go t u m o n no sina, o m o c i t a s h i m a s t a des high. t u m o n no sina? Go t u m o n nasareta, Karura sama no bugu ni gozai mas des high. Uh! Uh! Respect for bringing it to me. Wish I would have heard about it, but sure. Oh. Fine. She would need a weapon when it comes time to fight. Most blades are unable to resist her strength that can tear apart chains and simply break apart. Back then, she asked for a sword that wouldn't shatter, bend, or dull. Or something ridiculous like that. Okay, so he was a part of it. Never mind. It just wasn't a, a scene that we had. It's hard enough to get a sword to do that. But once you add in Kara's strength, it's impossible. I told her not to be ridiculous and gave her a steel club. It was sturdy and even had spikes on it. In the end, we had to ask a metallurgist for a sword that wouldn't shatter, bend, Or dull. There were many metals all added together. Pretty doubtful if it ever amounted to anything. Nanibunkonoyona <laughs> It's, um. So you think of a sword, right? A sword is anywhere from, like, larger than a gladius, which is about a maximum foot and a half overall length from hilt to blade. Generally, like a 12, 13 inch blade. Um, step up to a short sword, which is, you know, two foot, two and a half foot total. And then you've got somewhere between a 6 inch and 8 inch hilt.、Uh, then you step up to.、Uh, what's it called?、Um, a katana is generally under 3 foot in total length. And of that, about 2 feet is the actual blade. And that's for a small katana. And then you go up to the larger ones, which I can't remember the name of off the top of my head.、Um, but they cap out. Around three and a half foot blade length, and then 18 inch of hilt. So, five foot full tang, approximately, is about the longest you're gonna get for a general use sword.、Um, short of stepping up to、uh, some more English weaponry like、uh, Claymore, which big five and a half, six foot sword, 18 inch hilt. Big, generally a、uh, quite wide blade,、uh, whereas a katana would be more like two, three inches, maybe.、Uh, Claymore would be somewhere between you know, six and eight inches wide of blade, and then generally thicker as well.、Um, so, what Kara ended up getting as a result of her request.、Mm -hmm. I can't read his name like that. Sikinaro? Is that what it is? 
Siganara claps his hands and five sturdy men carrying something in. It doesn't have an edge like a sword. The blade is wide, almost like a giant machete. It's so thick, it's like many swords put together. So if I recall correctly, it's something that's basically six or seven foot long, about two inches thick. Not blade, but the actual width of it. So you're looking at it laterally along the thinnest part of the blade of the entire thing, and it's like two inches thick. And then the actual blade is, I think, somewhere between 10 and 12 inches, approximately. But it's just a solid lump of metal. I try to pick it up. But it doesn't even budge. Yeah, because if you put a blade on the end of it, instead of having it be dull or like rounded, if you put a point on it, that point's just going to break and shatter. And then you're going to end up with just chipped sword, and then each of those chips is going to fracture into it more and more. So if you just have the whole thing just be solid or rounded, even, it works out. ロロ Kara picks it up with ease and loves it. Saying that, she swings it around with one hand. All the men drop their jaws in amazement. Without straining at all, she hums to herself as she swir swings the thing that took five men to carry in. He says that in front of a large rock in the garden, uh, about as big as she is. With a loud crash, the rock splits in two. No, it's more like it was smashed in two. Did I miss a bit? I'm sorry. They just nod, dumbfounded. In a daze, all the men just watch her leave. ごちそうさま。もういいのですかお水ばかりでほとんど手をつけてないみたいですが。うん。なんだか食欲がないの。え、神が食欲ないなんて珍しいな。明日は雨でも降るんじゃないのか。やだな。神だって食欲ないと
はいカメちゃんちょっといいエルー puts one hand on Kamu's forehead and one hand on hers ちょっと熱がある<笑><笑> やまいはそのちょっとしたことから始まるのですぞ。姫様にもしものことがございましたら、この文と生きてはおられませぬ。もう大げさだな。大丈夫。あ、うん。ありがとう。なんだか譲っちに言われると変な感じだね。それじゃ